What's up challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo and we are on episode 5 of our blind let's play. In the last couple of episodes, I I got my starter. I beat up the, this little kid that wants to be my rival. He's kind of friendly though, so so me and How are cool. We got the Rotom Dex and we took on the trainer school. So we just uh, we just got called to the principal's office. And uh, that's what we're going to do now. Uh, since you guys won't have known this because this will just flow through. It's episode 4, then it's episode 5. But I took a quick nap because uh, after the midnight release, I, I, I came home and played for 4 hours. And I thought, if I go to bed at 4 and sleep until 8, I can wake up like it's a brand new day and nothing's changed. So here we go. Uh, she's saying that she can't believe that I beat all of her students, which I did. So, so sorry that you're... Little children and that jerk. You guys remember that last guy? He was just like, I'm angry because I want to be the best. Uh, but she's got to see. Oh, okay. So now I got to beat the. Uh, I got to beat the teacher, or the principal, or, or whatever, or what have we? Teacher Emily. So she, she's got that underarm, the kind of lob, and she's got a magnemite. So, little P is poisoned from the last battle uh, and also a little hurt and also Magnemite's gonna hit me with that super effective so we gotta figure something out here cuz actually uh, I wasn't super prepared for this so what can I do coach can come in and tail whip Let's do that. We're going to actually have to... I, I did not set myself up well for this. Because Lil P is probably going to be able to take out... I think the combined use of my remaining Pokemon should be able to take out the Magnemite. That did a lot of damage. That was a crit. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, I'm going to Tail Whip this guy. Because I think if I get his defense down... Something else can come in. Uh, he's going to go for another Thundershock. I should be able to survive two more. He can't paralyze me, and uh, he won't outspeed me on the next turn. And with two Tail Whips, with his uh, defense... Ah, de oh, shoot, we were speed tied. Man, so that crit did matter, actually. So Coach Chew is down. Uh... Dolls has got a uh, bite attack, which could could put the hurt in. But let's see whether or not let's see whether or not I have another tail whip option. Uh, I have leer on goose. I have leer on goose. So what I'm going for here is I want to lower Magnemite's defenses enough that um, I can come in with Dollas and Oko it. Or at least get close to that. Because uh, all the rest of my Pokemon pretty much just have normal type attacks. Ah, he actually outspeeds Goose. And gets a crit again. Are you kidding me? This Magnemite is proving problematic. So, alright. Dollars is going to have to come in here. Let's check my speed real quick. 17 on Dollars. 17 on Poplio. So if Dollars outspeeds, then Poplio will outspeed. Hopefully Dollars' bite, which is a physical move that's not resisted by steel type, will do enough to this uh I won't survive a thunder a thunder shock from this Magnemite. And that almost takes him out. So and I did outspeed. So what I'm pr I'm pretty confident that Poplio could come in and finish off Magnemite. But here's what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna send in Fritz, and I'm gonna use this opportunity to uh, use an antidote on Poplio. Man, I did, I honestly, I gotta tell you, I was not anticipating that uh, I would put myself in this position here. So, uh, I use this on Lil P. So now Poplio is not poisoned, so I still don't think I can survive a Thundershock from Magnemite, but... Uh, you know what, while I'm at it, why don't I, since I'm... I, since I survived that, let's heal up Poplio with a potion also. So, 
Fritz will go down here to the Magnemite's Thundershock. Then Lil P will come in, I'm hoping, uh, with the neutral um, water gun. Lil P will take out Magnemite, and then I just gotta really hope and pray that he doesn't have another electric type there. Uh, sitting in the back. Because if she does, I'm kind of in trouble. So let's let's hope this kills. It doesn't. It lives on one. I can actually take two of those. But the more problematic thing about this is that if it's another Magnemite, she might be one of those trainers that's like runs two Magnemites. And if she does, I'm going to have to switch to... Switch in Pecky Pack. Who learned Echoed Voice? It's a Meowth. Okay, so I should be okay, but let's look and see what we can do with Pecky Pack. Pecky Pack has Growl, which could be useful. So I'm actually going to switch in Pecky Pack here. Growl him down to as weak as possible so that Poplio can can survive some damage actually might be better here but i'm really gonna go for i'm gonna go for safety uh he's gonna outspeed and go for the bite i should be able to live that i don't think i'll live what did he hit me for i had 21 hp down to 18 or down to 8 so he hit me for 13 uh, i don't think i'll survive another one but let's go for a second growl just in case. Ah, I don't live. But I do have him weakened. If he hits for less than 10, we don't have a problem here. Luckily, disarming voice is super effective against this because it's a dark type. So let's go for that. I could also baby doll eyes him right now, but I don't feel the need to do that. So he is going to outspeed me. And he only hits me for four. So we should be good here. Um, if he's hitting me for four, even a crit shouldn't take me out. Because the crit, for those of you who aren't aware, a critical hit ignores stat boost or ignores stat drops. So he does not. We managed to get another attack off here, and we managed to take out the Meowth. So thank goodness this trainer did not pack two electric types, because I would have been in trouble. 81 EXP, and Teacher Emily goes down and says, Sensational. So, <laughs> whew, that was a tough battle. I was, uh, the, the poison ended up being a really big deal for me there. But I probably didn't need to switch as much as I did. Um... Oh, she wants me to take over as teacher. All jokes aside, though. So, the little reward for beating her. I got five Great Balls, which is awesome. They're just loading me up. Most games, you start really poor. This game, you started with 30,000 Poke Yen and five Great Balls, and we got a lot going on here. So, Kukui's telling me, Know your Pokemon. Know your moves. They're the basics being a better trainer. How about it? <laughs> Killer wave, bro. Is that... Ilima, Captain Ilima here. I couldn't help but observe your battles. You looked so delightful in the battle that I had no choice but to summon you here. This is Geo, who moved here from Alola, or moved here to Alola from the Kanto region. He's got a real sense of how to use moves and think he'll go far as a trainer, yeah? I see, then welcome, newcomer. I look forward to seeing your brilliance of your moves in my trial. Indeed, we captains are the ones who conduct the trials you will face on your way to challenging the island kahuna. <laughs> My trial is held in Verdant Cavern, the trial of Captain Ilima. You can find the Pokemon living everywhere, even in the patches of tall grass in Haoli City. Perhaps you'll want to fill out your team a bit before attempting my trial. I have six Pokemon and one chilling in the bank, Ilima. Step off. I sincerely look forward to your challenge. All right, Ilima. Uh, Tauros is blocking the road out front again. It's a celebrity on Melee. Melee, he's saying. Um, yeah. Attention all students. Geo has completed his lesson. Really? You're going to call me out like that over the intercom? 
Be good to your Pokemon. Try and follow through with those conditions, too. I only got hit by one condition. It was a poison. So if that was what they were trying to teach me. Get close to a lot of people. Enjoy your island challenge. And uh, future champion. And make sure to use the TM. They're just telling me everything they've already told me. So that's great. Good, fine, and dandy. Is Nebby going to say something? She's gonna show me surround. She's gonna show me more of the city. What if this girl is like low key the champion and just acting like she's oh I, I don't know I, I can't beat three Spiros but she's like hiding in the dark alleyway now now we gotta follow her. You know I was really impressed seeing how you battled with your Pokemon at the trainer school. And even when you weren't yet a Pokemon trainer, Geo, you were able to save Nebby. You were chosen by your Pokemon so quickly. I understand why now. Oh, I forgot about Tauros. Tell me I don't have to battle this thing right now. Ooh, how is checking out this... Catch it! How? Catch that Tauros! Whoa! If it isn't Lily and Geo, sorry for scaring you, friend. I guess it's time to get old Tauros back home. Oh, but why don't you give you a little pat first, Geo? What? Oh, he wants me to... I thought he was going to give me a pat. Uh, no, he wants me to pat the Tauros. It's dangerous. It's a raging bull. Three tails for extra balance. Ha ha ha, you see? That rascal already loves you. Pokemon become happier when we show them some care. They highlighted the word care in red. Like, that's some, like, don't forget to look up the word care, guys. Oh, 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 the places you'll go, child. And as you do, you will surely meet more Pokemon and people who will enrich your life. I'm old. <laughs> okay, so the calm raging Pokemon without needing to battle. He's uh, scared of Tauros. Where are you off to now? I'm going to show me around Haoli City. Nice idea. Always on top of things, Lily. And I just got here to Alola, so Hao wants to tag along too. And something about food. <laughs> so we're just a little trifecta of kids running around in a, in a little city. And this is... Oh, did she just say this is the biggest city in all of Alola? I don't know about you, but I'm ready for a nice stroll around Haoli, especially the beach. So at the bottom left, we kind of see a little map here. That flag, I'm assuming, is like a point of interest. We're on the beachfront. This is a really awesome looking city. Oh my word. Zam. It's nighttime. This girl's just chilling out there with sunglasses and her bathing suit. She DGAF. You're sunbathing under the stars. He's super pumped for the beach. I'm wondering if the clock on my DS is wrong, because it's uh, it's 9.30 in the morning over here, so. This girl can tell that I'm from somewhere far away. Good for her. The way to properly greet someone in Alola is to say Alola. And I'll make friends if I say it. So they'll say it to you. Alola. Okay. Very cool. Oh, Rotom said something, but I was too busy not paying attention. But there's an item down here. More Pokeballs. Uh, so I said Alola to that guy. Uh, there's an item here. Pew! No, it's a Pokemon. <laughs> I'm going to say Alola to these two. Look, catch. Oh, so someone threw a Pokemon at him? Slowpoke has its own tempo. That's an ability. That's a clever joke. A little shady corner there. A little shady penguin. So we got some storefronts here. Uh, coming up ahead, there's a flag. So this must be like a point of interest or something. Haoli City is really cool. Um, I really like when they incorporate nice big city venues. Uh, I really liked Lumios a lot in Pokemon X and Y. Uh, I'm going to say Alola to this guy. Let's 
talking to me about a karate chop. And how is calling me. Hey, hey Geo, I thought I recognized the sound of those feet. What's up? What's up, Hal? He is so fast. Hello, this has got to be the best place ever to live. Oh, yeah! Hey, Geo, come in here with me. I got an idea of something you could do. I really need to heal my Pokemon, Hal. And you're kind of just dragging me around here. Uh, oh, she, uh, she's saying I can get a special gift if I show her a, Ro a Rotom Dex, and it's called Poke Finder, and I'm wondering if this is similar to the system that we used in Oros. Poke Finder. Tool that lets you take photos of Pokemon, and Rotom will help point out places where you'll be able to take... F Tap on Rotom, or press R. Uh, to bring up the camera. It's like a whole nother partner. I mean, on top of the Pokemon partners, yeah. So it is a Pokemon partner, because Rotom's inside, yeah. So, here's the thing. I'm really hoping that a lot of useful tools come out of this Rotom. But, a Pokefinder, I want to give it a try. Boy, I might never want to leave this Pokedex. This Rotom's like talking to me, for real though. Lotto ID. Okay, so let's let's draw a lotto ticket. Yeah, let's save the game before drawing, so that we don't cheat. Congratulations! Spectacularly, the ID number of your team's little P matches the lotto ticket's number. One digit matched. So I get some Moo Moo milk. Works for me. That's a hundred HP in the bank. Uh, 10 Carat Hill. Oh, no! I said nay to him. I should have said yay, verily. He's doing research on Pokemon. The differences between 10 different species of Pokemon. 10 different species. Good luck out there. What do I have so far? Let's check my Pokedex. Whoa, there's a lot going on here. Trainer Passport, Pokemon Refresh. Uh, we're going to figure out some of those things later. But for now, let's just check out the Pokedex. Uh, what do I have right now? 7 and Scene 13. So, okay, we'll... Um, let's keep going with this. I want to kind of... I want to get to a point where I'm free to explore this city without limitations. So, Geo, how did you visit the Tourist Bureau? How was it? We got his Rotom Dex updated. Now it can take pictures, too. I I really don't care about that. What a wonderful helper you are, Rotom. Do you just take, like, a selfie? Well, it's not really a selfie. He took it of us. That would just be a normal photograph. What was that for, Rotom? Go and put your little trickster in their bag, Geo, and follow me. And that feasting for, you, for the eyes, it's time we take care of our stomachs. That how he's always thinking about his stomach. She wants to go to an apparel shop. I hope that there's like clothing in this game like there was an X and Y. They removed that feature. And I, I don't know why they did that. So this older gentleman eh, he's probably not older. He looks to be in his mid thirties, maybe forties. Uh you lucky kid. If you got a poker finder, then I guess I'll give you a little tip. See that spot where the wall is cracked? That's a photo spot right there. Look at that. You wrote him is trying to tell you too. Give him a tap. Finders keepers and this finders mine. Press R whenever you see the icon change. Okay, so in the bottom right of the map, you can kind of see, or in the bottom left of the screen, in the center of the map, you can see that there's an R button here. So we can kind of learn what this is going to do for me. So we're firing up the Poke Finder. So I can move the camera around with the circle pad. Try and look at the world from a different angles. We see a Pikachu out there. When you frame the perfect spot. So we're playing Pokemon Snap. We going way back to Nintendo 64 days. Each time you fire up the Poke Finder, you can take six picks before you run out of space. And you can kind of aim it with the, uh, with the camera. 
I know that they want me to take a picture of the Pikachu, but I just wanted to look around and see, uh... You're on fire. I really only took one picture here, Rotom, so... I wouldn't really call that fire. Um... I'm gonna put this down because I'm actually kind of I'm kind of shaking. Can I zoom in? Is there a zoom feature? Beautiful. You're on fire. I guess I'm just taking, and I'll take whatever. All of them are straight up just headshots of this Pikachu. Which one do I want to show the world? This one. His eyes don't look weird in it. What about this one? Yeah, actually that one's the best. That's the best shot we got. Yes. And the comments are already pouring in. Nice line of sight. If you try a bit harder, you should make it. I can't get enough of this form. That's close to my granny's house. So we get thumbs up based on the picture. It's a pretty sweet photo. Just record high score. So this really does seem like Pokemon Snap in this game. I don't know if you guys remember the video game Pokemon Snap from the Nintendo 64. You're you're literally on this like track, like it's a roller coaster ride, and you go through and you just take pictures of Pokemon, and then Professor Oak would score them. And then if you got high enough score, you'd open up next levels. As you got later on in the game, you'd get like apples that you could throw and then the Pokemon would move to come eat them because otherwise they're gonna like hide behind things it is a really great game actually it's super fun if you guys haven't played Pokemon snap even though it's a really old game I very highly recommend it it's really fun um, I don't really want to save it to the SD card because I don't really care so let's close the poke finder I just don't see the I mean maybe there is a value of saving the pictures but did I get a good shot? I hear it's best to try and photograph Pokemon from the front. If you want to know more about the Poke Finder, well, just keep taking tons of pictures. Plenty of shops to check out in Haoli. Even an apparel shop. If I had a body, I'd go. That's so sad. That's such a sad premise. I'm... Uh, let's go to the next waypoint here. I, I want to end this episode kind of soon. Uh, we see Lily here. Oh, Geo, tell me, do you pick out all your own clothes? I think my mom probably does it, because I haven't gotten to choose yet, so... Oh, your mother have a great sense of style, then. I love the way that you dress. Oh, thanks, Lily. That's really sweet of you. I, I've always just worn the clothes that my mother wanted me to wear. I don't really know what kind of thing would suit me. Oh, but that's not why I stopped you. I mean to give you this, Geo. I received it inside the apparel shop there. I didn't even buy anything, but it said it was the 999... 99,999th customer to visit the store. That means I'm going to be the 100,000th, and that deserves a prize, not a 99,999th. But she already has one, so she's just going to give me her spare. What is it? A hat? A lens case. What does that do? It looks like we have something in common now. So this girl is all about little Geo. Uh, okay, there's even governing offices here in Haoli. Just what everyone wants in paradise. That's very funny, Rotom. You are a hilarious little little creature. So let's keep exploring this. Uh, Alola. The line of, lineup of clothes sold at apparel shops like this one are different on each island. Okay, yes. Awesome. So they are finally selling clothes here again. Uh, I should have some money left over from all my ventures. In paradise I could get a tank top here uh, they come in white black and green and blue and navy blue and purple and uh, I can get a white tea black tea green tea blue tea navy blue tea purple tea green tea gray tea uh, a white polo black polo. man there's a lot going on here I was hoping I could buy everything a collegiate tank and a Lola C tank I kind of like the collegiate tank so let's buy that. Casual striped tee. Ooh, I also like this. And green and white's kind of my jam. Blue and white is also kind of my jam. I don't want to spend all of my money because sooner or later we're going to have uh, 
some better options. Capri pants are cool. Uh, do we have anything other than Capri? We got it in blue. That's cool. Let's do that. <coughs> Crew socks. I, re I honestly I can't see the socks at all. Yeah, I can't see any socks, but they got hats here. You need a trilby in white or black. Yeah, that's just the band that the band around the hat that they're talking about. That's really expensive, and uh, I don't really even care for the trilby. So, am I? Does it automatically change for me? Yes, it does. Okay, so I got this. I got this new look going. That's another Pokemon down there that says Muku. This is uh, Mario. If you look over here, we got a little Mario thing going on. And he wants to pick out an outfit that'll match his Pokemon, who is dark with uh, red spikes. And you, are you going to give me anything for free? Looks like no. So we keep it going. Uh, Alola, old lady. Welcome to the scarf. And here, have this scarf. Yes! Silk scarf. That's a normal power boosting item that I can give to my Pokemon. Competitively seen on Pokemon um, normal sweepers such as say uh, a Stoutland in the sand or a Zangoose. Look, a salon and an apparel shop. I'm going to turn myself into a whole new person. So I can go to the salon and maybe change my hairstyle, I'm guessing. Alola. Oh, hey, Alola there. Whatever kind of hairstyle you want. Smooth, scraggy, short. We can do lots of different styles. Might as well update my look before I go. Sure. Uh, let's do a cut and color. 5,000. That's expensive, but let's do it anyway. I would have la rather kind of gotten to have a look before I paid. So, wow, Gio, you cut yourself a Poplio? That's a great Pokemon. Gotta love Poplio now and then. What kind of look are you going for? What is a Caesar cut? What is a modern quaff? I don't know what any of this means. Let's go with a quaff. Is there a color you're dying to try? Black, honey, blonde, dark brown, ash. What does this pink brown? Pink brown. What does that even mean? Well, I'm not dark brown. Honey blonde. I don't really... Ash brown. Let's go with a caramel blonde. Let's go with a caramel blonde quaff. Please don't be super ugly. I should have saved before I did this. I honestly should have. I mean, this... It doesn't look anything like me, but it already didn't, so... I just didn't want that messy, scraggly hair that I had before. I'm okay with this. 5,000 uh, poke again, well spent. And we kind of explored a little bit more of the city. We've got some parking ramps there. Alola, you can, it's a battle buffet. Crown jewel of the shopping mall. There's a shopping mall there. An old lady here. If I walk with Pokemon, they grow friendly towards you. That, I know for a fact. We see an item there in the next gated area. There's a little gated area here. And, uh some tall grass so let me tell you what i'm gonna do uh, i'm gonna stop the episode here and behind closed doors i'm gonna just kind of battle in this area and try and catch now you know what i'm gonna save that for the next episode just in case there's something but i'll, I'll skip through the boring battles what i want to do is catch those 10 pokemon and take it back to the researcher but I don't want you guys to have to watch me battle the same Pokemon we've already seen. So in the next episode, we're going to battle the try and catch 10 Pokemon. I'm going to skip through any of the repeat battles uh, through the magic of editing. And then when we get to 10, we're going to go back to that research and see what's up. And we're going to finish exploring Howley City. So uh, until then, uh, thank you for watching episode 5. And I'll see you guys on episode 6. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by. See you guys next time.